This year has been a challenge in one way or another, and often it can feel hopeless. The pandemic has raised our levels of anxiety and depression as we are on high alert at the first sign of our child's runny nose, at the thought of meeting a friend for coffee, or even just going to the grocery store. The isolation that has come with trying to be smart and stay safe, in addition to actual quarantine or isolation we must go through if we do end up contracting COVID, is one of the hardest parts for a lot of us. I'm Janelle Cook, a therapist at Cedar Tree Counseling. Having had to quarantine after testing positive this past year and then having my two-year-old son test positive at the end of my quarantine, only to add another 14 days at home, I know just how challenging the isolation can be. However, as difficult and hopeless as these past couple years have felt, here are three things we can do to combat our rising levels of anxiety and depression. First, get outside. It may seem silly or too simple, but getting fresh air, moving your body, and changing your surroundings can do wonders for your mood. You can accomplish this by simply setting a reminder on your phone to get up and move, or set your alarm to go for a walk each morning or evening. Second, find gratitude. No matter how challenging or difficult life can be, there is always something we can be grateful for. If we can identify some of the smallest things in our day-to-day, -day, such as the sun shining, a smile from a neighbor, or something big like your health or food on your table, this practice of gratitude can help ground us and get us out of the spiral we may be experiencing in our minds as things just seem to pile on. Try writing down two or three things you're grateful for each morning when you wake up. Or you could even combine this practice of gratitude with getting outside and going on a gratitude walk, really taking the time to be present and grateful in that space. Finally, take the opportunity to get outside of your own story and enter someone else's. What I mean by this is serve someone, connect with someone, listen to someone else's story. Getting our minds off ourselves and what we have going on and instead serving someone else or entering into someone else's world can help give us the perspective shift we need to point us back to gratitude and lessen the anxiety and depression we feel when we are so focused on our own situations. I know this is a difficult season. It has been for me too, but I challenge you, all of us, to get outside, find gratitude, and even enter someone else's story. There is hope in the midst of it all. We just have to be looking for it. And if you need any additional support, reach out to me and I would love to help.